Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Thursday the 3rd of August, the local media headlines today. One story which much of the media report is the imminent deadline for the public to comment on a major consultation exercise which will determine the framework for much of the new housing which Cornwall can expect to see built over the next 13 years. Cornwall Reports publishes the site allocations maps for 10 Cornish towns, showing the places planners have their sites on for where permission would probably be approved. The deadline for you to have your say is next Monday. Radio Cornwall's top story today concerns the chance to train as a deep sea fisherman. The station says you can now learn the ropes on a new course operating out of Newlyn. This links effortlessly to the Cornwall Live story about how Britain's biggest shark has been caught off the coast of Penzance. The blue shark was 9 feet long and weighed 256 pounds. The Falmouth Packet has a story which sheds some insight into the sad and potentially distressing circumstances when someone dies and no relative is able or willing to claim the body. Michael Medlin was found dead in his flat last month. When no one came forward to pay for a funeral, Cornwall Council stepped in to organise the most basic of arrangements on public health grounds. Now Mr Medlin's brother is asking to see his brother's body before it is buried or cremated. The Camelford and Delabol Post reports a discovery which has excited Cornwall's archaeologists. It turns out that a large slab of granite on Bodmin Moor is, in some respects, even more interesting than Stonehenge. The Hendra Burnick Coit near Davidstow was used for moonlit rituals during the late Neolithic or Bronze Age periods. It carries even more deliberate carvings or decorations than Stonehenge, which scientists say make it one of the most interesting ancient monuments in Britain. The Buden Stratton Post tells us that the local scouts are fundraising for a trip to Switzerland. And finally, the Cornish Times casts its eye over the Lou Carnival, whose parade is due on Saturday. And those are the local media headlines today. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and share this on Facebook and retweet it on Twitter. But best of all, take out a subscription to the Cornwall Reports local news website. It works out at less than nine pence a day. See you again tomorrow. Bye bye.